Hello, YouTube modeling community. Uh, this is Rusty Roeder. Uh, just this is gonna be real quick, guys. Uh, no in length video. Uh, I've not had a lot of time down here this week to really show you anything. Uh, the commission build I did get it into final primer. Uh, what we did was I eliminated all the body trim as far as chrome trim, uh, except for front window, rear window, uh, the trunk trim and around the front of the hood, that all be chromed. The rest of it was all deleted off uh, and then final primed. Uh, just going for a smooth, smooth look. Uh, and yeah, so that's ready to go. It's just got to gas out and then I can uh, do some wet sanding and get it into paint. So I'll probably do a update video at that point or just show you where I'm at with it. Uh, I'm still working on the Corvette. The uh, chrome trim is really pretty much cured now uh, after re-chroming it. Uh, some engine parts I'm waiting on, which are just the A&N, Army and Navy fittings. Uh, they're coming from RB Motion. Uh, he's about a month behind on orders. So that's where I was wanting to get the engine kind of done first. It's kind of going to be close to the last thing I do. Uh, so we're going to press forward with the uh, body uh, and all that so I'll be getting that some final sanding done on that and get that into primer for its first coat that way I can kind of go around and see where I gotta what I gotta fix and do some more sanding on uh, so we'll update that then uh, the buddy build I'm doing with my real good friend Lee Barrett uh, I've known Lee for about six years uh, Unfortunately, we've never got to meet in person, which is the thing, but we do talk on the phone. We text uh, a lot, so uh, We chose this this uh, McLaren for a butt for a buddy build uh, So far I've gotten it out. I've got my Mold lines and everything marked so I'm ready to start staying on the body uh, next will be uh Pretty much following step by step of the instructions for the build because I've never built an accurate miniature kit and I'm not real sure of that so the safe bet for me is just to follow along with the instructions I've already read through them uh, I've looked over the parts uh, everything there is 100% complete uh, I even read some of the detailing information uh, on there which is really cool uh, they give you a lot of things above and beyond so you know it's kind of like a Tamiya kit. It's, it's highly detailed. Uh, I'm not seeing any warpage or anything yet, so I'll update you on that also. Uh, the Mercedes is sitting here ready to start. Uh, it'll be a little bit more in-depth, so I'm going to kind of just go along and we'll keep you updated then. Uh, the Corvette and Jays is still the primary uh, build uh, that I've paid you know, or spend the most time on. The other ones are just, you know, secondary, but uh, since the Mercedes 300 SL is a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. it. I'm trying to think of the name, guys. It is, let's put it this way tired of trying to figure out a word for it uh, it's not top priority but it is priority because it was the parts were sent to us by MGSF so graciously uh, and between mine and his discussions we want to do it a step-by-step -step progress type pick video uh, of what I'm doing to it uh, the final you know outcome of it of course so uh, it'll be broken up into segments and uh, I've got to just be real meticulous with my filming of it and my editing of it. Uh, and of course, uh, there won't be a lot of explanation of how I did type thing, but just basically showing you what I did. Uh, of course, any explanations, uh, if they're needed, if you've got questions, you know, by all means on each video, post down in the comments uh, and shoot away. Ask any question how I did it. Uh, maybe later on I will... Uh, follow up with a how I did it type thing uh, if I do something that's you know really appeals to you and you've never done it before I'll be glad to uh, go back over it and explain it and show you how I did it uh, 
this is just a busy week. My granddaughter's birthday is this weekend. Uh, I have a model show, remember guys, Saturday. Uh, the 6th Annual Ohio Valley Regional. Uh, for all you guys that do follow me and you do live in that area or you know you're, you want to make that drive, I will be there in person tomorrow. Uh, I'll be wearing my uh, merch shirt, the black t-shirt, Rusty Rotors, so be looking for me. You guys know what my face looks like. Uh, and I'll be the one with the limp walking around. Uh, but I'm bringing the 1932 Ford Roadster. It'll be its first, basically, unveiling uh, to the media people. Uh, I'm also bringing my 41 Willys. Uh, Wheat Project Weed Whacker, the black uh, 55, I believe it is, uh, Ford F100. And the Blue Rat, which is a is a 1970 Ford Ranger, but converted to a 67 uh, Ford F100. So, uh, if you'd like to see those, by all means, show up at the show. Uh, I will hold that address up there. You guys can see that. If you want to screenshot that or pause your TV and write it down. Uh, or between now and tonight, uh, down in the comments, let me know and I'll type out uh, the address for you. And that way you'll have it. It is, uh, let's see, vendor setup is 7 to 9. Uh, doors open to public at 9 a.m. And it goes to 3 p.m. Uh, contest room is open until 12 p.m. So noon. You have until noon to get your models on the table and then they close the doors. And that's when they start their voting. Uh, awards will be from two o'clock, approximately two o'clock to three o'clock. Last, last time I was there, it, it ran over probably 45 minutes to an hour. So between two and three, uh, they'll have the awards and then you're pre pretty much out of there by four o'clock. Uh, concession stand, now I'm telling you, these people put some, you know, it's hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff like that, but it's, they're really good. Uh, and they have a bunch of other variety of stuff and drinks. They're very cheap. Uh, and they, they open from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. And last year they kind of went a little bit over two. So they, I think they were open for another extra half an hour, 45 minutes. So, uh, you know, if you get a chance, guys, come on down. It's in Louisville. Uh, it's a very nice show. And there's a lot of great vendors there. And last time I was there, there were some good deals. And then there were some... Not so good deals, but that's pretty much how it is all over the table. Uh, but again, if you want to travel, make it to that show tomorrow. Uh, I'll be there. I'm bringing four models. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, I hope the 32 does something uh, more than anything else. Uh, but, you know, you never know. I may come out of there empty-handed, and that's okay, too. But uh, if you'd like to see my builds in person, that's where they'll be. Uh, and then the next show will be Acme. Uh, I won't be, unless somebody asks me to go to a show or something, uh, uh, there won't be no more shows until Acme, and then I'll be the last one for the year for me. Uh, I am winding down on my projects, uh, so I'm going to have a lot more time in here, which is really good. Uh, I've been stashing some stuff to the side for orders, uh, that we'll need for the diorama. Uh, I've already gone over the villain. We're going to be working on that one as well. Uh, that is going to take place where viewers build or viewers choice build is just so you guys know. I know you can't keep up with how many builds I got going, but you know, number one is here to my right. I'm at number two right now. Number three is next to the uh, 3D printing station. Four and five are uh, to the left of the downdraft table, just to give you an idea. Of. So the villain build will be on build area number four. Uh, on number five is my buddy build with Lee, Lee Barrett. Uh, again, guys, get over to uh, Instagram. Unfortunately, even if you don't want to keep the account, start account and then check out Lee Barrett is in modeling. 
he does amazing beautiful work he's very meticulous superly if that's a word superly we'll call it that high detail he will look if he can't buy it he will make it via lathe or 3d printing or by scratch uh, he's a very meticulous he comes from a, a he was kind of a aircraft military build type guy when he got into the hobby then he just fell in love with the, the cars and switched over and that's that's where he's at I got something creeping in oh it's Murphy the worthless cat uh, so yeah you know we got the buddy build going on we'll be finishing up viewers choice uh, Jay's a uh, Jay's mini scale garage uh, commission build the MGS F fat boy Mercedes Benz 300 SL and of course the Corvette build for Acme uh, so all that's going to be going on and the Acme build pulls precedence over everything else other than Jay's uh, the fat boy uh, let's just call it the wide body 300 SL that's that's the third priority and everything else is just as we get time so as I get more time then I can dedicate as where I got to stop on the Corvette because I got a lot of stuff dry I can move to the Mercedes same process same process same process like an assembly line keep going keep going keep going until one gets done then I can pull another one down and we keep going on the other ones and then as we get time the the newest one will get started on uh, and that's how we're going to go until I can get through what I've kind of started what I need to finish and then we can devote time to the diorama uh, and then hopefully Jenny can get in here and get some time to finish up the 37 because I don't know if she'll have that done in time for Acme or not uh, but I know she wants to try I'm looking for Murphy he, you can't find him I shut the door and he's locked up in here come on you don't listen all right guys you have a great weekend uh, get some modeling in as always if you guys want to send me pictures of your models my email is always down below uh, um, I'm always up to seeing somebody's builds and what they're doing to it and their ideas uh, believe it or not you guys inspire me too as well so uh, any comments leave them down in the comments uh, you know if you're interested in a t-shirt please send me an email let me know uh, I'm trying to get this kind of together and wrapped up uh, it's, I think it's like 10 t-shirts I was saying 10 or 15 but I think it's 10 so if we can get 10 people that are interested in the t-shirts then we can get the order in and uh, everybody will get a really nice t-shirt trust me guys I don't I don't wear crappy t-shirts unless I'm just outside working in them it's a really nice really nice fit fits good around the neck it, it fits good in the shoulders and, and it's, it's loose and it's soft so uh, it's a really really high-end t-shirt and it's got a pocket everybody likes a pocket t-shirt uh, but if you are interested remember send me down an email send me your name and all that information the size of t-shirt you want uh, a white t-shirt a black t-shirt pink if you want one for your wife or your daughter uh, and you know pink comes with black or white lettering uh, white comes with black lettering black comes with white lettering so uh, XL sizes are a few dollars more I think but the average average price for the t-shirt is twenty dollars and when we get up in the XLs it's it's like twenty five dollars so like 1x 2x 3x 4x it'll be $25 and that's plus shipping we got to figure out the shipping what that's gonna cost I figured it'd only be a few dollars more on top of it so but you're getting a really good t-shirt you go to the store you spend $24.95 or $25 on a t-shirt anywhere else so uh, it's it's from what I've seen it's kind of across the board uh, so uh, we got those in we got a deadline until let's say uh, the end of August uh, so we can get those in uh, I've got basically one person interested and that's just not enough to put the order together and that's okay too uh, but then again you never know so thank you to all my past present and future subscribers uh, I am as crazy as I am I am going to uh, jump in on the appreciation build appreciation group build for my good friend uh tom old you know 
Old Tom, Rambler 69. Uh, but mine is going to be different because uh, it's more meaningful for me. So it'll be a project that I do at my own pace and it will be given to him. Let's put it that way. Uh, I don't want to disclose what it is. Uh, I'm not going to update on the progress, uh, except for at the very end, because I will have already sent him pictures, so he'll be aware of it and be looking for it, and we will do a video on it the day before I mail it out, uh, or if I can get it done before Acme, uh, the day before I leave for Acme, I'll, I'll show you guys, and, uh, it, it's just a, you know, he's just been a good friend to me, uh, you know, and uh, I think he's well-deserved. He's a great guy in the hobby. Uh, to me, he's been a, a super great friend uh, since I met him last year at Acme. Uh, and I've watched his videos even before then, before I even met him. So, uh, you know, I'm very familiar with his work. Uh, outstanding modeler, outstanding human being. And uh, this this uh, group build is well-deserved for somebody like that. Uh, so, uh, like I said, a little different. I am going... I'm, this, I guess this will be my official announcement. I am throwing my hat into the appreciation group build for Old Ram, old Tom Rambler 69. That's a tongue twister, by the way. Uh, it's just I'm going to do mine a little different at my own pace because uh, I am very busy. And I'm not going to disclose what it is. Uh, I want it to be a surprise for him. Uh, after all, this group build is for him. Uh, so stay tuned. I will announce and show at the very end when I'm done with it. Uh, and that's only before, only after he has seen it. Uh, so, again, thank you guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Drop a, drop a comment down below. Any questions down below? Anything you want to see down below? Uh, that's what that's for. Subscribing is free. Hit that bell notification while you're at it. Uh, you'll know when all these videos come out and updates and the final for the uh, appreciation build. Uh, Jay's, anything else you've seen that I'm, I'm working on right now? That's how you'll know when I'm, I'm posting about it is by hitting that bell notification. Uh, again, t-shirts, if you're interested, please, my email is always down below. If you need any paints, supplies, hobby nut models, links always down below. By all means, hit it, go there, purchase you a little something. It does help support the channel. In, eh, in certain ways. Uh, it's not financially. Uh, it's not anything like that. It just helps on certain things to bring to the channel. It's not like it was before, but it's still there to, uh, after I, you know, whatever you want to call it, then we can, we can get some new things in here. It's hard to explain. I didn't really don't want to get into the brass tacks of it all, but just know it's not financially supporting me. Uh, He's, you know, he's a business just like any other. If you order from Tamiya, doesn't matter. MGSF, it's, you know, the money you spend there benefits him. The only thing that's going to benefit me, uh, if we want to be honest about it, is some shipping. Uh, so, you know, saving a dollar or two here and there, that, that helps me to help you guys out by bringing you new content. Uh, and then anything else I can do in between, uh, I will be doing. So, again, you guys have a great weekend. Uh, oh, sorry guys. I'm going to do this while I'm here because uh, Monday I'm not going to have time for nothing. I leave to go out of town next Wednesday. Uh, so there will be nothing next week. So we're going to do it now. This gentleman contacted me. Mars Garage. He is on YouTube. So go check him out. Tell him Rusty sent you. Uh, this is a very, very nice gentleman. Does very, very nice work. Uh, I've watched a few of you know, a few of the videos that he's got up. Uh, he contacted me about a shop card trade. Well, unfortunately, I'm out of shop cards until around the Acme time. Uh, I had to give my niece some time because graduating high school, uh, she's starting right away into college summer classes. So her time is limited, but she's the one that made my original ones. So I'm letting her make my uh, second ones. So I got to send him a card when mine come in. But he sent me... His shop card, now this is a sticker, so that's very cool. I like large stickers too, so I'm going to be, I can't fit this on my refrigerator, but I'll probably put it on the front of one of my drawers or something like that, 
Uh, and he also sent me a shop card. There's this YouTube. Guys, please go check him out. Drop him a sub. Give him a thumbs up. Uh, you know, support each other however we can. Uh, Marcelo, thank you very much for the kind words. Uh, you know, that means a lot. That's what's keeping me doing this. Uh, just this kind of kindness and gratitude right here. Uh, brother, thank you again. Uh, I hope this helps. Again, you guys go check him out. Uh, super nice guy. He does really nice work. I love the graffiti. And who doesn't like that kind of car? It's kind of like the 32, only a hard top. That's a what you call it. One, two, three, four, five window. So, yeah. Definitely. Again, thank you, Marcelo, for the, the shop card and the sticker. Uh, you're going up on the, uh, probably put you on the drawer here in the front. Uh, and you're definitely going up on the wall of fame with your shop card. So, again, guys, anybody wants to trade shop cards, just contact me. Uh, I, I don't have any to trade right now. But if you want to send me one of yours, as soon as mine come in, I'll have your addresses. And I will be sending one to you. And I'll just email you and let you know when yours is on the way. So, thank you again, guys. We'll see you, uh, well, Saturday at the show, maybe. If not, uh, while I'm on vacation next week, it'll be the following week after that. I'll have some updates to go on and uh, show you guys how how and what I'm up to. Uh, so, thanks again for all your support. Guys, this is Rusty Rotor. I'm out.